Good morning, everyone. So this is a start of a new vlog because I'm gonna be spending two weeks not in Columbus. <laughs> so I have to drive back home. So I got a nice nine, 10 hour drive ahead of me. But this is my first one since I moved out here where I'm completely by myself, no dog, no friends. So we'll see, I should be able to at least finish an audiobook, so I have that to look forward to. It's Monday, it's Labor Day, but then on Wednesday I jump on a plane, go to Northern California for a wedding at a lake house, so that should be really fun. And then come back home, I got caricature gig at the Hard Rock, um, hanging out with friends, so I wanna document all of that because it should be a pretty fun two weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I got a second dog. Her name is Vera. She's older. She's also an Alaskan Malamute. She's super chill. However, we got her Saturday night. Beautiful. She hung out in the backyard with Yukon for a while. She was definitely shy, a little intimidated, definitely seemed a little freaked out, but also seemed super fine and normal. I let her out in the morning with Yukon and then like 10, 15 minutes later went to check on her and she was gone. She jumped the fence and her collar came off. I have no idea where she went. So that was absolutely horrible. And we like spent two to three hours searching for her and I bought a bunch of stuff to make posters. We were on Craigslist and Facebook pages for lost animals trying to look for her and thank God, five hours later, someone did post her photo on one of those lost animal pages and we were able to pick her out from the pound and she was completely fine because who knows what could have happened to her. Now we know, I mean, she she has to be, she got a heavy duty collar, she has to be hooked up to a stake if she's gonna be outside, probably heavily supervised for at least the first few months. And I just feel bad that she's so freaked out right now, but she'll get acclimated, I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm also gonna be gone for two weeks, so not my problem. I also threw on my Instagram, I now have one of those like little highlight bubbles that includes all my game nights so you can kind of see the kind of games that I'm playing lately because I realize like I play a lot of games and I play them often so if you guys are interested in that that's a new feature I gotta get going because I have a like I said nine to ten hour drive ahead of me so wish me luck
old. Yeah, it is. so bad about updating you guys formally about what's been going on but that's because there's been a lot so Monday was just a straight travel day no issues car didn't break down along the way so I'm thrilled uh, Tuesday was just hanging out with family seeing several friends <laughs> one of whom I was able to convince to read the Court of Thorns and Roses series and she had just finished uh, Court of Mist and Fury the day that I arrived and so we spent a long time talking about it and while I am very enthusiastic despite all his flaws very very enthusiastic about a court of mist and fury especially she was not <laughs> and it was like yeah nothing you're saying is wrong it is a wreck her writing is insane these characters are bamboozling but is it fun <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, but, but that has been actually really fun to talk about and I'm reading her recommended read that I picked up from the library before coming out here and The Wrath and the Dawn or The Dawn and the Wrath <laughs> One of those. It's so good. I'm almost 300 pages into it Why I've been able to just speed through it is because then on Wednesday early Wednesday I had to jump on a plane and then jumped on another plane and now we're in Northern California We're kind of near Sacramento, California in a place called Nevada City my Airbnb, I'll insert some footage here probably, but our Airbnb is dope. It's like in the middle of the woods, has a log cabin vibe to it, but it's really cute on the inside. So it's just been a fun place to like hang out, although we haven't really done that much hanging out because then after hanging out with some family Wednesday, th all day Thursday, we had to drive three hours away to go to the near woods to see some redwood trees and then we went and saw the ocean which was freezing <laughs> very cold but still fun I mean it's the ocean went across the Golden Gate Bridge went to San Francisco God bless anybody who wants to live there because it's insane <laughs> driving through there was I wasn't even driving my mom was driving but it did not seem Fun. seemed like a nightmare we've just done so much driving and so much traveling and so today we're kind of just kicking it we're about to go actually into Nevada City because we need to drop something off at the post office because my brother got a pocket knife for a souvenir but like can't take that on an airplane I actually want to do some writing video editing before we go boating with the rest of the family and tomorrow's the big wedding that's the whole reason why we're here is for this wedding on the lake I think today we're just gonna be more or less just kind of chill out do our own thing it will be really nice hope you guys have been doing well so if like my social media presence or like my YouTube has been uh, weird or inconsistent or not as poppin as it's been previously that is why I'm in the middle of nowhere <laughs>
like this tree. I like this tree. And this one that's like tilted over. <laughs> I know. Let's all Does get he ice trays. Seen a polar bear? <laughs> no, what you need to do is just get a giant ice cube <laughs> off a comet and drop it. <laughs> You're not Heckler. <laughs> I'm gonna blood on your shorts. Nope. I'm a nope, stealthy pickpocket. <laughs> You'll never know. I'm a stealthy Hi, baby. Cheers. We don't have two red ones next to each other, or just leave it. Uh, that's fine. Also, super competitive to be on. Sent all of my brick, giving that little settlement. Ah, I always have to find my way to a sheep tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, sheep are adorable, so yes. That's why. Oh my gosh, with the eight. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too. Move back. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's why well, I mean, like, I the spellcaster can backfire. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we should do only like, one werewolf. Ooh, if there's only one werewolf, it'd be really, 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 really Hey guys.
guys um leave a comment down below if you remember this old room this used to be my room that i filmed in when i very first started youtube if you've been around that long i don't think there's many of you <laughs> but uh shout outs if you remember anyway so yesterday was so much fun i was able to get some footage my old roommate Bree was back in town and then some of her friends from South Dakota came down to hang out with us and we all went around or like hung out downtown Des Moines, played games for like six hours straight. <laughs> My friend um, from Ohio also brought Yukon, like came out because he knew all these people. So we all hung out with them and everyone got to meet Yukon and some of my friends. It was just a friend filled day, lots of games. I mean, mainly just Werewolf and Catan. We watched National Treasure. I didn't go to bed till like 3 or 4 a.m. last night. <laughs> and I'm usually in bed by 10 or 11, so... But you know what? It's vacation. I think today I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping with my Des Moines friends. I'm hoping for the rest of this week I'll be able to meet up with various friends who are also into writing and have like a, a group writing session because I actually want to get a lot of editing done. As you know, I am constantly editing. After the blade itself, I am so inspired by that writing style. Just very clean and crisp and to the point, but not in a Hemingway sort of way. It still has more style than that, but I, I've just been very um, inspired by that, so I'm kind of going through and trying to tighten up a lot of my prose. I haven't heard a lot back from my initial querying phase, and sometimes it can take a long time to hear anything back, so that's not surprising, but I've also just kind of been taking a break, and I think I need to go back through and um, maybe rework some things. I don't know. I'm kind of experimenting right now. I'm not that worried about it. Hoping for a very productive day, even though it's already like 4 a 4 p.m. Um, woke up way later than usual. Oh, my friend had to go back to Ohio, so Yukon is gone, which is sad. I miss my puppy. Oh, I think we're gonna have a trivia night tonight. Go to a bar for some trivia, so, ooh, this hair. Should be another fun-filled day. I'm super pumped. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I miss y'all. I will check back in with you guys soon. right now with Danny. We'll see how that goes. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about cars, but I might buy one today. Um, last night we went and watched the sunset and did an oracle reading with some, they're not tarot cards, I mean they're called oracle cards. Low-key life-changing. <laughs> and then did some trivia with my friends. So was it productive? No. Did I learn a lot? Yes, <laughs> a shocking amount. It was kind of creepy, actually. I don't know what to make of that kind of stuff because on one hand, it just seems kind of silly and frivolous and fun, and on another hand, I learned things. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go buy this car and then me and some other friends are meeting up for an actual writing session tonight. 
Um, so we'll see how that goes. I think I'm gonna try to focus on drafting book two, which I'm really excited about because like book two is where it's at. So I will let you guys know how that goes. And yeah. Day we was on Google Earth, bitch. <laughs> So I guess I'm gonna be buying a car tomorrow. <sighs> so that's exciting. And also we're eating with the Google Earth people. <laughs> like a freshman in high school, I think. But it's been a long time. Keep it together so it stays warm. <laughs> it's beautiful. Remember you bought Stop it. Found what? Section. <laughs> where is, where did you find it? Right over here, see, it says, you know. Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm just updating you, it's the next day. <laughs> um, as you probably just saw, I was able to get some writing done. I can't believe I started drafting book two. I don't know why that just seems so crazy and outlandish to me, but I'm just like, <gasps> It's happening. <laughs> I've never seriously considered whether I was more of a plotter or a pantser or a, an architect or a gardener when it came to drafting because, well, my last book was my first book that I've ever written, so drafting was a shit show. <laughs> it's pretty solidified what I want to do in my head, but it's also very complicated. There's more points of views. It's more sprawling. There's a lot going on. So I was just like, oh, maybe I should plot this out. And I started a bullet point and I was just like, I'm bored. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I guess maybe I'm more in the pantsing realm because I just started going for it. And the first few paragraphs are just complete nonsense. I only got 500 words down, like a page and a half, but I started to get my footing and I was like, Ooh, you know what? I like it. <laughs> I, I think this, who knows where it will end up going. This is the first page of the first draft. I'm just excited to start getting it out there. But today, well, so my mom runs an Airbnb out of her house. I know she's quite the entrepreneur and she accidentally booked the room I'm staying in, my old room, out even though I'm staying here, so, which is not a big deal. I just had to spend the morning cleaning it and getting all of my stuff out of it and then go spend the night at Danny's place. So again, not a big deal. Um, but I'm also going to get my new car today. Woo -woo. I think I'm gonna make a quick little video about my current car because you guys, it's insane. <laughs> Every time people see it, they're just like, what are you driving? Like, it's my car. Um, and you know what? It's lasted me five or six years, and I've had basically no issues with it. Well, there's a ton of issues with it, but I've had, like, no major issues with it. It has driven me from Iowa to Ohio, like, six times now, so it's fine. It's a trooper. Why am I getting rid of it? It only has 120,000 miles, but it also <laughs> sounds like it's about to explode, and I literally cannot get its oil changed. It's a whole thing, no one will touch it. Anyway, I'm getting a new car, and it's a pretty nice car. It's definitely the nicest car I've ever owned, so very excited about that. Gonna go like harass Danny. She's kind of working for her mom's friend while she's back on the mainland before she goes back to Hawaii, and before she gets off, I think I'm, I'm bringing my laptop, so hopefully I can get some editing done, start working on a new video. I have my caricature gig at the old person home tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. Oh, you might also be like, Claire, didn't you say at the beginning of this vlog that you had a caricature gig at the Hard Rock Hotel, and that's the whole reason you're going back to Iowa in the first place? Why, yes I did. 
<laughs> As you may have noticed, it did not happen. Turns out the event got moved to the end of September. Kind of sucks for my friend who came in from California. Also didn't suck because then we got to spend time with all of our friends and blah, blah, blah. It ended up working out. Today is one of my more chill days. I don't have a ton of stuff on the schedule other than getting this new car, which will be dope. Tomorrow I have this caricature gig and then it's my last day to really hang out with all of my friends and family because Saturday, 10 hours driving back. I, I haven't listened at all to any of the Throne of Glass book that I'm on Empire's Storms. I haven't listened to any of that while I'm here because I've just been so busy. I haven't driven at all. <laughs> I haven't been driving my car. I'm kind of too scared to. I have to drive it over to the place. I'm trading it in for my new car. And I'm just like, please make it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm kind of sad to be leaving. I love my friends and family so much. And there's just such good energy here. But I mean, I love my job and I love my friends back in Ohio too. I miss my house I miss my dogs I mean I'm, I'm not here to complain like oh Ohio's so bad no it's great I'm just I don't know it's just one of those things home is home you know <laughs> Drive and she just kind of went. 